yes I am filming in a one day even though it's the middle of summer but I felt nice in this Welcome to my first video of 2015 and my first video of my new series, Begin Again. It's really, really crazy to think that it is now 2015 and I'm turning 17 this year. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my 2015 New Year's resolutions. I write out my New Year's resolutions every year and I haven't ever, like, said them publicly. But I decided I'd do that this year because it just kind of gets me ready and pumped for the new year to come. And it kind of just shows me where I want to see myself at the end of this year. So let's just get straight on into it. The first resolution is to get back into the splits. I recently had a major spinal injury and then I crushed my foot and then I pulled my hamstrings and I've just ha I've just become so unflexible and I'm pro I'm probably one of the most unflexible dancers you'll ever meet so I'm going to try and get back into the splits and that's a really big one for me and it would be so amazing if I do. Next is to become more confident with my singing. I have sung for many years and I do really really enjoy singing although I can't seem to start songs when I'm singing in front of people. I just can't find a note in my head and I always freak myself out and get too nervous so I'm going to try and become more confident in singing and to do that is to start singing in front of people more so that is one of my resolutions because I feel like I can really benefit personally from that. Next is to prepare more for auditions. I do about 10 to 11 auditions a year whether it's for film or for stage and um, I never really prepare. I always set myself back a week and instead of preparing I just freak out and then I prepare in the last couple of days and it's a really bad habit to get into and it means that I'm not really knowing what I'm going into when I go into the auditions so I really really need to start preparing way more in advance for auditions. My next resolution is to be happy and stay happy. I've had lots of ups and downs this year and things that really got to me which really shouldn't have and so this year I'm going to try and let loose a little bit more and whatever happens happens but I'm going to try and go through everything with a big smile on my face and being happy and just really overlooking bad situations and I'll be focusing on the good things. Next resolution is to get my restricted license I don't have my learners yet, but I might when this video goes up, but I really, really need to focus on getting my restricted this year so I can drive myself places and not have to rely on my parents all the time and put the stress on them. My next resolution is to audition for more shows. I think I need to get over this, like, fright of auditions by auditioning for more shows, and the more auditions I do, whether I get them or not, the more confident I always feel. Like, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter if you get the role or not, because they might audition, like, 30 people or only one person will get it. But I think I just need to get more experience auditioning and then, then I'll just get better from then. So yeah, that's my another resolution of mine. My next resolution is to focus more in school. As you can tell, probably already in this video, I do a lot of drama and things like that. But this last year in 2014, it really took over my life and I put school second when I should have put it first because at the end of the day, everything comes down to your school results. So I need to focus more in school and put school work first ahead of things so that I can still do schoolwork and the things I love. My next resolution is to eat healthy just so I can sustain the body image I have and just keep healthy I guess and I also want to try out a ton of more a ton more healthy recipes and make some health recipes up for you guys because I love making healthy food and yeah. My next resolution is to sustain a constant upload rate on YouTube. Does that make sense? I just want to make constant videos. I usually film quite a lot in advance. Like I'm filming for January right now and it's still the 15th of December. So I do film a lot in advance. But that means that I can get all the videos I want to up and ready for the month that they're due up. And I'm hoping to get this up for the whole year and I'd be really proud of myself if I do. So that's my resolution that's a resolution for this year coming my next resolution is to spend more time with my best friend Dana she's my best friend and has been my best friend for 11 years now and so it's really important to me that I spend lots of time with her and I haven't in the past couple of years so I feel like this year I should really focus on that and we should always catch up as much as possible because she is one of the closest friends we've ever had and I do love her a lot 
Another resolution for this year is to take more photos. Not on like photos on my phone for Instagram. I mean like actual photos with friends and I'm hoping to get a Polaroid. So photos on a Polaroid and like photos on a proper camera because I just feel like I don't take any photos unless it's selfies on a phone and I don't, I don't know, I just look at my photos on my phone and I kind of just cringe because they're not proper photos, you know? Another resolution is to get more involved in my school. Last year I only did the school production and it wasn't enough for me to really get involved and I, I like feeling involved in my schooling environment and I'm sure you do as well because it just makes me feel like I'm giving back to the school because I guess they are teaching me how to learn and yeah so I really want to get back to the school and join some sports teams and production and dance crews and all that sort of stuff because I really feel like I have so much more to give to the school and more free time I could be spending doing something good for the school so that's what I want to work on this year. My next resolution is to drink more water. I don't drink water. I really hate water. I have a fear of drinking too much water. I feel like I'm going to drown if I have to like drink a cup of water. So it takes me about three hours to drink a glass of water and that's really really bad. But there's a reason behind this all. I'm not just crazy. I used to drink milk uh, instead of water when I was little. I used to have six, six, up to six glasses of milk a day and I wouldn't have any water and so I just wouldn't drink water and I've just been put off it ever since and I hate water. I am chronically dehydrated. I'm always dehydrated. I always have that headache you get when you're dehydrated and I just don't drink water and I really need to start drinking water because um, my, it's really taken a toll on my body. If I want to get fit and healthy and get back up to where I was when I was younger, I really need to start drinking a lot more water plus it will be a lot more beneficial for my skin. Next. I want to stay fit. This is kind of comes under a couple of other ones, but I really, really, really want to try and get really fit this year. Go to the gym a lot more because my school is a gym. Maybe do some um, swimming lessons and stuff. Just trying to get really fit again because I haven't been at my fittest peak um, recently and I've had many injuries which have stopped me from doing that. But now that I'm free of injuries and hopefully will be for a very much longer time, I would like to get fit again and just so that my body feels really good and I feel really comfortable in my body. But this last resolution is for me to cook more. As a kid I used to always wake up at 6.30 in the morning and make my family like a cake or a bread or whatever and it was my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world but I've recently like over current events I've lost my passion for cooking and I hate being in the kitchen I feel like I'm really trapped in a kitchen and that it's like no longer a hobby it's like a chore and I just really hate being in a kitchen I feel claustrophobic I feel uncomfortable and I just feel like everything is going terribly so I really want to try and get back into the kitchen and get my confidence back in there. Okay guys, so those are my 2015 resolutions. You should comment down below one of your resolutions or like the whole list of yours if you want because I love listening to other people's resolutions because then I sometimes get inspired by them and add them to my list. Remember, your resolutions don't have to be made on the 1st of January and stuck to. You can add on more, you can swap some out, but as long as you kind of follow the guidelines, you'll have a really successful year. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found my resolutions interesting or exciting or inspiring or whatever um so happy new year's guys i wish you guys the best year of your life and i hope 2015 is going to be amazing for you guys and just think of all the opportunities you have just to start things over and begin again smile be safe and stay beautiful guys i love you so much goodbye